Positive Hack Days, the second international cybersecurity festival, has concluded. In Lushniki, we constructed an actual cyber city with amusement options for individuals of all age groups. Six thematic locations immersed festival attendees in the digital world and assisted visitors in enhancing their cybersecurity literacy. Cyber City also evolved into a bustling hub for numerous workshops, quests, performances, sports, and intellectual tournaments. We also presented a scientific and popular program where everyone could learn more about culture, art, and IT. The program concluded with an open-air concert. The primary musical headliners of the festival were the Hatters, Erika Lundman, Lewandowski and Che, as well as the Moscow Gospel Team. Additionally, Youth Day also took place as part of the event, which was known and referred to as Positive Hack Days. Immediately in four cities, Moscow, St. Petersburg, Innopolis and Nizhny Novgorod. The event brought together over 5,000 students through a unified video bridge. First time, all attendees witnessed Cyber Battle Standoff, a spectacular cyber showdown between red and blue teams at the event. Teams from different countries participated in the cyber battle. Russia, Belarus, France, Kazakhstan, and Malaysia. This year, at the cyber battle, two virtual states were showcased, State F and State S. 25 red teams searched for vulnerabilities and conducted attacks on replicas of real infrastructures. Throughout the cyber battle, attackers executed 415 critical events, 77 of which were unique. In total, there were 179 attackers who discovered 617 vulnerabilities. The banking industry ended up being the most impacted, with a total of 23 distinct critical incidents. Defender teams, a total of 11 blue teams, managed to prevent 115 critical events in the nuclear and energy sectors, investigated 182 successful attacks, and detected 851 incidents. The ultimate victor of the intense cyber battle standoff 13 was none other than the highly skilled and strategic Dream Team. The closed portion of the festival united the top representatives of the cybersecurity industry, from beginners to well-known experts, CEOs, and CISOs of major IT companies. Over the course of four days at Lushniki, there were more than 400 presentations across 29 technical and business tracks. A grand total of over 600 speakers presented on the most relevant and pressing issues of information security at a single venue. This year, Positive Hack Days took place for the first time in Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. A live broadcast was organized in Lushniki for all guests. In the year 2024, Positive Hack Days became the most extensive in its entire history. The festival was attended by over 120,000 people and more than 130,000 viewers followed the event online. We are sad to part ways, but we promise to return next year and meet at Positive Hack Days Fest 3. Stay tuned. Fest minus three, stay connected.